But I've just been working very, very hard kind of behind the scenes. Um, so yeah, anyways, I just finished getting ready. I'm wearing my sleeper dress today just because this is just what I felt like today. I'm just finishing up my makeup and I'm using this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This is a smoothing, glowing complexion um, like face spray. Oh, it is so, so, so good. It's got like the most beautiful mist. And it just makes like your makeup kind of just like blend in and it just makes everything feel so so much nicer and, um it was i think last week that i attended a laura mercier event for the launch of their um oil free tinted moisturizer and if you've been around a while you know that i love the original um laura mercier tinted moisturizer and i think i like the oil free one better um I don't know, I just find like the coverage is a little bit better on this one and I just like how it feels on the skin. Sometimes I found like the original one was just a, like a tiny bit too greasy and I love a, like a glowy complexion anyways. But honestly, I would highly, highly recommend this one. It's not drying at all, so I don't think that if you have dry skin, this would be like bothersome or anything. But along with this, they also sent me a bunch of other products and one of the things that they sent me was this... Um, so this is the lip pencil in the color chestnut and oh my god this lip color has just been absolutely amazing i use it just to kind of outline my lips and then i will put lip balm on top and it's the most beautiful color so that's the color on its own and i was previously just putting on my glossier but I'm, i kind of want to play around and put my Marc jacobs on top just to see what that looks like oh i love that it's so beautiful so that is the lip color there and i am seriously just in love with it it's such a beautiful kind of like warm brown um and the color was what was it, I think it was chestnut yeah chestnut but i know it's been a while but i'm so so happy to kind of start catching up with you today is a pretty big day because today i will be kind of going through my closet and taking things out to sell on Poshmark and honestly I just it's about time I did this I was starting to feel like my closet was getting a little bit overwhelming because there are just there's just a lot and I feel like now with like summer coming like I just want to make room for new pieces and I just there are things that I'm not wearing they're not bringing me joy anymore so I thought that this would be a great time to do that with you so today's main responsibility is to go through my entire closet and see what types of things I want to sell essentially because it's time okay it's time and this is actually something i've been asked about so so much i get so many questions from people being like like when are you selling this like are do you use poshmark and so it's time and hopefully having those items find new homes so yeah that's the plan right now though i'm just gonna go do a few emails and i just have to submit a couple things so i'm just gonna get that kind of done and out of the way and then i can give you kind of like a mini closet tour and we can start kind of going through which items i want to keep or not so yeah that's kind of the plan but anyways i'm gonna go send a few emails and then we can get started on my closet clear out hello everyone well it's been a little while now but i'm finally ready to start my closet clear out and this has honestly been something that i've been delaying and postponing but i'm ready i'm ready to do it now and i think now is the perfect time um but before we get started i do want to say that this is actually an integrated pay for partnership with Poshmark and I am so excited. I've actually used Poshmark in the past before and it is one of the easiest processes ever and so if you've never heard of Poshmark, they're essentially an online marketplace where you can buy and resell um, new and previously loved items so you can buy things for men, women, kids, your home and so much more. It is honestly a really really great place to kind of you know rehome your items so that's what i will be using i'm going to be using poshmark to sell my items so definitely check out my poshmark i will leave all my information down below for you to check out it truly is one of the easiest things because you're able to put how much you're charging how much it was worth how much you bought it at 
your size it's just really really convenient and really easy to use which is my favorite thing because i don't have all the time in the world to be selling all these items so i'm gonna show you through the process of actually picking out what items i'm gonna be putting on there so to start this process i'm gonna start choosing what items I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna put them on a rack, and then once they're on a rack, I have to take photos of all of them. That way, when it comes time to putting them on Poshmark, it's just a quick upload, and that's it. I just have to put a price on it, and I'm good to go. Behind me, we have my one of my main closets, which is all of my tops, my dresses, as well as my shoes. Will not be getting rid of any shoes, at least I don't think so. Um, but there are definitely some dresses that could go and some tops that could go. All right, so I'm starting with this closet because truth be told, this is the closet that kind of intimidates me the most. And I feel like this is the closet that has the most things that need to go. So what essentially I'm going to do is I'm going to look at each item and really see and consider how much I've been wearing each item. Because if I just haven't been wearing an item and I'm just, I'm not reaching for it, they're probably, it probably just doesn't need to be in my closet anymore. I'm not in love with it. I'm not happy with it anymore. I'm just not reaching for it. And so if that's the case, I'd rather honestly give it to someone who is going to wear it. That way that piece can get some love. So I'm going to start with some dresses um, and kind of start going through them to see what's happening. All right, this is the first dress um, that is going to really hurt me to get rid of because this is... A dress that I bought right at the start of when I kind of started doing YouTube and Instagram and um, I feel like this dress really mimics the sleeper dress that I'm wearing and I think it's what I was going for um, but unfortunately it's quite short and it's quite tight and what I've learned about myself is that I'm not a huge fan of super tight things just in general like I just feel better in a nice like loose comfy dress and this one although it looks absolutely gorgeous it is a little bit tight for me um i need room to eat and this one doesn't have room to eat so unfortunately i don't even think i wore this more than twice um and because i have not been reaching for it i think it might be time for it to go so that's gonna go on there suit is another one that hurts me to let go of but I just have not been reaching for it and part of the reason is because I would um, need to have this altered a little bit and I just honestly haven't had the time to get things altered um, especially with COVID and so I think I'm just gonna part ways with it and hopefully someone who fits into it perfectly um, and or who has the time to get it hemmed will get some lovely use out of this because this suit is absolutely phenomenal so so beyond gorgeous and the color and quality is amazing too so yeah that, one, that one's gonna go so behind me i've got all the items that are ready to go so i'm pretty much just gonna take photos of these i'm gonna take photos of the front back as well as the label so the tag on them um that way people know what kind of the brand is as well as the size of the top so that's typically what i like to do and then if i have a photo of myself wearing the item then i will do that that just makes it easier for people to get a sense of what it looks like on so that's the plan so i'm gonna go do that That pretty much wraps up the process of selling items. I will kind of tomorrow, probably the day after, go take two more scans of my closet just to see if, you know, something new pops up where I'm just like, yeah, mm, maybe that is something I should add. Um, but for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all of the photos and pretty much take selfies of anything that I need to take and add it to the app. Um, so don't forget to check out Poshmark as well as check out my account where you can shop all of my pieces. I'll leave all that information down in the description box. So definitely 
check that out but anyways i am going to finish up with poshmark get everything on the app and then finish off my evening um but yeah but anyways let me get on with my evening good morning everyone today is seriously a crazy busy day my day is literally filled to the brim but right now i'm just um catching up on some emails and i'm about to make something to eat for breakfast i do have a meeting at 10 15 so i still have an about an hour to prep for that and then and later on today, I have to um, run some errands, pick up some things. I'm also picking up a nail kit, which is actually something that I did want to let you guys know because um, typically I get my nails done by my usual nail tech. He is located in Cambridge, Kenny's Nails. If you're from Cambridge, uh, John does my nails. <laughs> um, he has been doing my nails like for six years. For like six years. Um, and... Anyways, but since we are in lockdown, I've actually been getting a kind of at-home shellac kit from a nail salon in Toronto. I've actually gone to this nail salon to get my nails done before, but they're actually just offering like a little kit to take home. So you get your um, UV light, you get all the things that you need to do your nails, and you just do your shellac at home on your own. Alternatively, I think they are also offering... Um, like for someone to come to your place but um i just prefer to take matters into my own hands and kind of only let myself or john touch my nails i'm very nitpicky um but my nails are way overdue so i'm actually picking the kit up later today um and then after that i have an event with la roche pose which i am so excited about i love the events that la roche pose puts on because they're not just like all like fun, but they're actually really focused on learning and kind of understanding the science behind the products that we use. So like, for example, last time our event was on kind of all about vitamin C and hyaluronic acid and retinols and how they actually work on your skin. And I think that is so, so, so valuable. It really helps you understand kind of why you're even using that product besides the fact that the packaging tells you it's going to give you a pretty face um and so today's event is focused on spf and i am all about spf i love spf it's so 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 important and so i'm really excited to actually um, attend that event with la roche posay and it's so cute because the theme is like a picnic at sunset so they sent us this super cute picnic basket actually let me show it to you I think it's the cutest thing ever. All right, so this is the basket that they sent us. Is that not the cutest thing? But let me show you what's inside. All right, so the event is Protect and Love Your Skin This Summer. Welcome to La Roche-Posay's Sun Protection Derm Live. And I think this is so exciting. So they sent us a little picnic basket. Um, they sent us some drinks. I actually just had these in the fridge. So I put them back in here to show you. So these are little... Um, Dylan's Negroni beverages. Um, so this is made with uh, gin and sweet vermouth. Oh, looks so, so good. So I got two of those. They also sent a little tangerine, some little snacks. We've got some little cheese biscuits and these are some spiced nuts, which look so, so good. And then of course we've got some products. So this is the Anthelios um, 6T SPF. So this is the face and body for sensitive skin. I've actually never used this one. Um, and then they sent the Anthelios 50 um, Ultra Fluid. This is what I use. This is my favorite product. I just, it's absolutely amazing. If you're looking for a new SPF, highly, highly recommend this one. Um, so it's nice to have a little top up of that one. So that is what's in our little picnic kind of summer basket. And I'm just so excited for the event. I know we are a little nerdy community here and I myself love, love, love to learn new things and just be more educated where I can be. So I'm really excited for today's event and see what else I can learn about SPF. Um, and if you are, and like I said, if you are looking for a new SPF to try out, definitely try La Roche-Posay. It's actually, um, it's a drugstore SPF. It's quite affordable. It's on the more affordable side in terms of SPFs. I think there's a lot of SPFs that can be very, very expensive. And for the amount of SPF that we should be using on a daily basis, which let's be real, I don't apply SPF every two hours, even though I should. I just try my best to at least put it on, you know, once a day in the morning before my makeup. Um, but again, if you are looking for one, try it out. And I'm really, really interested to try this lotion, the SPF lotion. 
Um, you know, I used to be really into tanning in the summer, um, like especially with my body. And I think this summer I'm gonna try and take a more protective approach. So definitely self tan, um, but just be more mindful of how much SPF I am putting on my body because of my background. I don't really burn. I get really really dark, and I don't I don't really get sunburns. Um, it is a blessing, but it also means that I should be protecting my skin anyways. So anyways, um, yeah, that is my plan for today. I'm very excited. And anyways, I should show you what I am wearing today. I'm actually wearing um, a very simple outfit, um, quite comfy and something I can just swap in and out and something that I can run out the door. It is quite warm today, but it's not sunny, so I felt like I could get away with a blazer. Um, but yeah, let me show you. Also, you're gonna notice a new addition to the living room. Let me introduce you to my new mirror. This mirror, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I think it looks so, so luxe. This mirror is actually from Urban Barn and it is just so, so beautiful. It's got this gorgeous kind of, oh, I'm just obsessed with this. So Parisian, I absolutely love it. And it is quite wide and as you can see, it is going over the wall. Um, I will be doing some adjustments with this section of the living room um, just because I obviously want this to not go past the wall. So we're gonna do some arranging where we're gonna move the couch over and that way the mirror fits properly. It is a lot wider than my previous mirror. My previous mirror is actually now in my bedroom. But anyways, this is the mirror and I hope you like it and love it as much as I do. I will link it down below for you because it is an amazing price for this mirror. Like it just looks so, so luxurious and it it's just an amazing price. So anyways, let me show you what I'm wearing. Um, so I am just wearing, this is the high neck bodysuit from Aritzia. I've got my twirl skirt, which is like a staple in my wardrobe. This is the agency blazer, which is one of my go-to blazers. It is on the lighter side, which is nice for days where it's a little bit warmer. Um, that is something that I tend to look out for in the summer, just blazers that are a little bit lighter in material and perhaps not as, like, they're not lined as thick as some other blazers. Because if a blazer is too thick, it can get quite hot when it's warm outside. And then jewelry wise, I'm wearing my Charlotte Bold hoops, my herringbone necklace, we've got my Nord Green watch, the herringbone bracelet, which for the record, I never take off. And then shoes, we've got a new addition to the wardrobe. These are some new Manolo Blahnik heels. I will kind of chat to you a little bit more in depth later on. We'll do maybe a little shoe haul because I have been purchasing some new shoes. Um, but these are just some little mules that I bought for the summer. Very, very comfy. Um, for the summer so yeah anyways I am going to grab a bite to eat because it is now creeping in the time for my meeting and I want to be ready for that but I also don't want my stomach to be growling throughout it so I'm gonna eat also I saw this TikTok where it was like what is your current food obsession and I have two hummus and kiwis okay I literally have like found like refound hummus i've always loved hummus but like lately i've been going through a lot of it like a lot of hummus and i'm like put it on everything like it's i literally have it with every meal um but i've been eating it mainly with like bell peppers and i'm just mm, i'm obsessed it's so amazing i love it re love it um, and also kiwis i've actually never been a big eater of kiwis um but lately i but recently i got a bowl an acai bowl that had kiwi in it and i was like wow like this is like super good and so i bought kiwis at the grocery store and now i like can't stop eating kiwis and they're so good so what are your current food obsessions because like i feel like every so often i go through waves of like just very intense food passions it's like our relationship gets very intense <laughs> um anyways um i'm gonna stop chatting now and um get on with my day Hello everyone, I am just about to head out to Sephora to do a curbside pickup order. I have been really struggling with my hair lately. Um, I did get it colored a while, a few weeks ago, and my hair has just been extremely dry. I don't know if it's potentially been the change of temperature outside or that it's been sunnier recently and I've been in the sun and just UV damage. I honestly don't know, um, but I'm gonna go and pick up a hair mask. I bought the, I think it's the Amika Soul Food 
nourishing hair mask. I've used the samples and I really, really do enjoy them. So I figured I would pick up the full sized, um, full sized product and do a hair mask tonight and literally just sleep with it in my hair um, because my hair needs all the love it can get right now. It looks okay on camera, but when you touch it, it just doesn't feel healthy. Um, and I'm not, I don't like that. So, so I'm gonna go pick that up. I might also go pick up a snack for myself and then I do have to stop at the grocery store and pick up some food. Well, not really food, I just need to pick up tofu because I ran out of tofu and I'm really feeling like having some for lunch. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pick that up. It is beautiful out today. It is 22 degrees, so sunny, oh, so beautiful. So I actually did change my outfit, sort of, sort of. So instead of my twirl skirt, I just put on this dress. This is actually a Zara dress. I've had it for quite some time now, so I won't be able to link it for you guys. But it's just kind of like this um, pleated kind of idea. And then I just put it with my sneakers and my coach tabby. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing. It's just a really, really simple outfit. It's comfortable. Um, and it's obviously going to be cool enough because my legs are exposed. <laughs> so yeah. That's what I'm wearing today, just really, really simple and comfortable. And of course, I kept all the jewelry the same. I did not change my jewelry because um, it still goes. <laughs> but anyways, let's go. I'm gonna go get to this hair mask and hopefully I'll do my hair mask with you tonight because look, it just looks not pretty. Like this is not a good look. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not happy. We're gonna ensure my hair gets some TLC tonight. got back from going to Sephora and I picked up the hair mask so this is the hair mask that I picked up this is the Amica soul food nourishing mask and I got the 250 milliliter um, the 250 ml size so I think this is the medium size and then there's one size that is the value pack or the value size but that one was sold out or else I would have gotten that one but this is what I'm gonna be using tonight I also got some little samples I am a sample queen Okay, I love samples. Give me any mini sample, love it. I live for it, okay? It's such a better, I think it's, it makes so much more sense than buying a full product and then not liking it and then not using it, you know? So I got this Way, is that how you say it? Way Wave Spray. So it says, a weightless texture mist for effortlessly chic undone hair. I don't really wear my hair natural, but yeah, we, could, we could try it. And this is another thing I want to try. This is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. So this is the daily foaming wash, but it looks like it is a bit of an exfoliator. Um, so it says, use AM and PM, apply a small amount to wet face and neck. Um, so it says, use one to two type, one to two times a week. So I'm gonna give this a try. I'm not a huge, um, I'm not a huge fan of actual like physical exfoliators. I prefer chemical exfoliants. But I figured, why not? I've always wanted to try Kate Somerville. I've heard loads of great things about it, but it is more of an expensive brand, so I'm just curious to see how I get on with it. Um, but yeah, right now I am going to cook some food because honestly, I haven't eaten much today and I'm getting quite hungry. Um, it was also extremely hot outside. I, about halfway through my walk, I was very much regretting having worn a blazer. Way too hot. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna cook. Oh, I also picked up this Neutrogena Spot Gel. So this is for little pimples. I actually used to use this years ago. My mom and I used to use it. Um, so this is a salicylic acid acne treatment. This is really good for spots. I've been getting a lot of little tiny spots because of my period. So I just wanted to use them on my face, um, just on those particular spots. I usually just grab a Q-tip and dab it on and then just tap it into the spots that I need. Um, and it works really, really well from what I can remember. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was the other thing that I bought. But anyways, now I'm gonna go cook food cause I'm hungry. Okay, it is now three o'clock. Well, actually it's uh, 2.54, three o'clock. And I'm gonna start cooking my meal. So I actually like to meal prep, which means most of my food is already cooked. It just makes my life so much easier. And especially during the week, I can just reach into the fridge um, and essentially, have food there that's already cooked and that I just need to warm up. So for today's meal, I have some um, bell peppers, which I'm gonna have with 
hummus and all of tapenade. I didn't have time to go to Kensington Market this past weekend, which means that I had to get grocery store hummus, um, but it's still good enough. <laughs> I'm also gonna have an avocado with that. This is some cooked kale, so I just literally grabbed some kale, fried it up in a pan with some olive oil, um, garlic, salt, nothing fancy, and then of course, some boiled sweet potato. And the last thing I'm gonna add to that meal is some tofu. I unfortunately ate all my tofu. So I'm gonna actually cook my tofu with you. Um, and the way that I'm gonna cook my tofu is my favorite way of doing it. It's the quickest way, in my opinion, um, and it's really yummy too. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put all of this on a plate, warm it up while the tofu is cooking. and this is the meal so I've got some peppers with hummus and this is the olive tapenade I also love to have sweet potatoes with hummus it's such a good combination I've got my tofu some kale and then I just did a little bit of an avocado with some tahini I got this at um Perolas in Kensington Market. So this is just like a really yummy kind of citrusy, um, I guess, spice. Um, super, super good. Um, yeah, anyways, this is what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna eat because I'm super hungry and this smells so, so yummy. Hello everyone, it is much later. I took my makeup off because, you know, sometimes I just feel like I hit that time of day where I've worn my makeup long enough where I'm just like dying to take it off. But I took my makeup off, I just used, um, just um, a micellar water, but I'm gonna do a quick yoga session. I, I get so many questions on my workouts, which maybe I'll talk about in another video, but I don't really have a workout routine. I just, I do yoga pretty much every day, at, le at very least every other day, and I always, always follow Kat Meffin. She is just the most amazing yoga instructor. She is such a wonderful being. So I usually follow her. She's got so many different types of classes as well. She's got like yin yoga. She's got um, different flows, kind of more strength based, something slower. She's also got all types of different lengths. So whether you're looking for something that is 15 minutes or 45 minutes, she's got it all. So I think I'm just going to put on probably a 30 minute um, yoga flow on and just kind of finish my night off that way because I just feel like I need to you know stretch and then later on I just have to get, get up and grab it um I'm gonna finish up 101 essays that will change the way you think you absolutely need this book in your life it is it's such a simple read but it is so amazing I've literally been hooked I cannot tell you how hard it's been to put this book down like usually in the mornings I try to read for like I don't know 20 minutes and ever since I got this book it's like one more page and then it turns into like three pages and then it's like okay just one more chapter just like just like one more chapter and then you start the next chapter and you read the title and you're like oh, just one more <laughs> and so it's um it's been a really 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 good read I've honestly never read anything like it before and I've just enjoyed it so much and I kept thinking of you guys whilst I was reading it because I just knew that so many of you would love it um, 
and it truly is like a simple read like if you're a person that doesn't read a lot or doesn't have a lot of time you know read one chapter a lot of the chapters are i kid you not like a page and a half two pages some are not even that long and so i think it's a really really nice read in that sense too but anyways i will link this down below for you i got it off of amazon and it is just an awesome read absolutely love it so anyways i'm gonna go do some yoga and stretch and that is pretty much gonna be my night so i think with that i'm gonna leave the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog also don't forget to check out my poshmark that's all down there for you but yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.